Mirador Online makes application deployment for iOS devices fast and easy. Go to Applications, then Actions, and Add. Select iOS and click on Next. Here you can choose between in-house and app store applications. To find out more information about in-house applications, read the QR code below. When deploying applications via the App Store, the device user has to approve the application with his or her personal App Store account. We prefer application installation that doesn't require user interaction. This can be achieved by using Apple's Volume Purchase Program, also called Apple VPP. To configure Apple VPP, click on Infrastructure Diagram, scroll down, place your cursor on Apple VPP, and click on Configure. Log in to your Apple Business Manager portal. Select Settings, and choose Apps and Books. Download the token for your company and go back to Mirador Online. Click on Next, and then upload the token. And click on Close. You have now connected your Mirador site with Apple VPP. To purchase applications, go back to your Apple Business Manager portal and select Apps and Books. We want to buy the Microsoft Outlook application. First, make sure that you have the right company in the Assign To field, then enter the number of licenses you want to purchase and click on the Get button. We have now purchased the application. Go back to Mirador Online. Select Applications, choose Apple VPP and Update Applications. Update Applications, and close. The Microsoft Outlook application is now visible in the Applications view. We can now configure the application. The extent to which you can configure an application varies and is determined by the application developer. For more information on how to configure the Outlook application, Read the QR code below. We will now configure the Outlook application. We have now entered all the necessary data and can deploy the application to a device. Within a few moments, the application will be pushed to the device. Now it is installed and has also been pre-configured as per the configurations we did in Mirador. All the device user has to do is enter their password. You can also configure the built-in email client of iOS devices. For more information on how to do that, read the QR code below.